Hey guys, welcome back to my house under construction. I've been calling this the real rebuild project. And this is a house for my personal family. I've been building for 26 years now. I've never built a new house. So I'm having a lot of fun over here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking to you about this railing system that's going on here. But prior to this railing going on, everything else has been completed. They're all covered up now, but these are my hardwood treads. These are white oak treads that I got from View Rail and my carpenter installed a few, gosh, a few months ago at this point. And then the risers are poplar, also got those from View Rail. And then all this trim that's in here and painted, this is all from Windsor One. It's all done and finished, so the last step that I really need before I'm gonna meet uh, all my code requirements is my railing system. Now View Rail makes some really cool systems that are constructed at their factory in Indiana. And I took a tour of uh, the shop and saw kind of all these components getting built. But believe it or not, in just a really short period of time, one or two days, we're gonna take all these boxes and this railing will be complete. On today's build show, we're gonna show you the entire process Sponsored by V-Rail, let's get going. All right guys, so what's cool about this system is all the parts and pieces are in these few boxes that got shipped from Indiana direct to my job site via UPS. Let me give you the lay of the land. So first off, obviously the instructions box right here. Uh, and then we've got a couple of other cool boxes I'll show you in a second of parts and uh, tools that you might need but there's a few main boxes in here. First off, these are my posts right here. You can see this is a powder coated aluminum in black to my specifications. They've got all kinds of color options. This will get screwed down onto the face of the treads and there's some beauty caps here. And then the rods themselves will go through here and the handrail cap will actually cap on the top here. So that's what all these bags are that you see here. I'm not gonna open it right this second, but this is my top rail right here. And then this tube is the stainless rods. Now I ended up getting mine in black, but you can do them in all kinds of options. And of course stainless, but let's look at the instructions. This, if you open this box first, you'll immediately be impressed with their system. So first off, instructions binder. And even before you get to that, you'll see right in the box is vrail.com backslash instructions. They've got really good instructions. I've been very impressed. Jorge, my carpenter and I reviewed a bunch of videos on the install and within a really short order, we feel confident that we can do this process. But they're sending you a binder that has all the kind of basics. It's all in color, it's step by step. This is really good stuff. And they've got some great YouTube videos. But what I really liked about it is they really include everything you need minus a couple of carpentry tools. So. You know, even a view rail branded uh, multi-way level for you for your posts. Screw wax, I don't even know yet what this string is for. Uh, the correct bits that you need. Uh, this is a crimper that you're gonna use. Uh, you'll even see that they're giving you the uh, angle grinder and bits that you need. Kind of everything you need is in these boxes. Very impressive. With that being said, let's get Jorge going on this project and uh, we'll show you the process. Two hours in and look at the progress. We've got all our posts set already. So these five posts you see here, these are powder coated to my specifications and this color. I wanted black because that's what my window frames are in a bunch of the parts of the house. They're, they're covered by painting right now, but this will match up with that. I've got white walls and I'll have these gorgeous treads. I think the black's gonna look nice. Jorge put a laser on set up these posts so they're perfectly in alignment. You can see they're nice and even. They're, they're basically four feet apart, which is the max distance you want on this rod system. And they just screw down on the tread. Really simple, super secure. That's not going anywhere. And then this little beauty cover just slides right over and covers that and we're good to go. Next step is handrail. Now they sent me a beautiful oak handrail to the length I needed, or actually longer, so I can cut it down. But after I saw it, I actually didn't like as rounded as it was on the top. So I'm gonna have Jorge 
um, cut just a little bit off this top to make it a little flatter. And then we're gonna miter it on the plumb cut. And that's the next step is to install the handrail. And then we'll be doing rods. So this project's come along nice. Catch up in a minute. turn out nice I love it I think the design is a really nice compromise of traditional with some modern effects you know this house I kind of think is a transitional house and so I wanted something that had wood that felt like a traditional rail and banister but was a little more updated and a little more modern so this this certainly could go with modern farmhouse with contemporary or transitional and certainly traditional styled houses and you'll also notice all my stockings are hung from here uh, we don't have a fireplace in this house. I purposely didn't put a fireplace in. So this railing really feels like the heart of the home. And I think it's funny that my wife immediately said, that's the perfect place to put the kids' stockings. Super fun project. I've absolutely loved working with the view rail people. These are really good people out of the heart of America, based in Goshen, Indiana, family owned company with some really talented people that definitely know what they're doing. So guys, if you've got a project coming up that you've got a railing like this, you've got treads, or you want to check out their view rail flight, check out our other videos that we made with that. Really cool systems that can really range all kinds of different architectural styles. But this one, super quick to go together, well-priced. This is definitely a value. Big thanks to view rail for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And guys, if you're not currently a build show subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We are coming up on a million subs and I'm really excited to finally get to that million mark. Help me make it happen. Hit that subscribe button. New content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.